Oh yeah, Capricorn, what is going on, y'all? How you doing? I always feel, you know, my thing with, with the camera and all that. Maybe I am at an angle, but I think it looks cool. You know, what? I'm going to turn this down, music down a little bit. I'm listening to um, certain Hurts that, uh, not Hurts, but Hurts that, you know, open up your mind. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all I'm seeing now is uh, <clears throat> Quaid, but uh, uh, from Total Recall, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, hey, Capricorn, how you doing? Welcome. Feliz Navidad. I'm Patrick. I'll be your psychic tarot card reader. But they had this, uh, you guys, if you've ever seen the movie, there was the the psychic being that came out of the, the person's stomach. Open your mind. And it's on, um, oh, what's that show, y'all? Pickle Rick. Rick and Morty. There you go. Check it out. It's pretty hilarious. It's a great show. Great channeling. But today, what we're going to find out here, Capricorn, is this. What is your what is your X-Men Superstar Seed Superpower? I probably won't put so many supers in there, but what is your X-Men Star Seed Superpower? Right? And what we're going to do, we're going to use our comic book cards and sports cards and things like that. So, without further ado, let's do Angelic guides and beings, galactic loved ones, which tell me the right side. And again, these are in no order. I'll always say that. I'm going to go like mid-right up in here, up in here, up in here. Excellent. Set that to the side here. Put it all the way over there. All right. Sorry, my ADD is kicking in over here. Okay, we are going to shuffle these old school style. Okay. Ooh, one more time, one more time. Shuffling it up. Again, there's no order in there, so they're technically already shuffled, but I like doing this. We can do it. I love it. These things are like no give whatsoever. All right, let's pull right from the top here. Ooh, we've got Blade, old school Blade too. The new movie coming out is going to be pretty amazing. I love that actor. He's like 40-something playing these roles. He looks amazing. So do you, Capricorn. We all have a beauty of age. We don't, like, we age amazingly. Yes, you do. Stop it, you. You know it. But Blade is what we're doing here. Killing the darkness. That's what I hear. And, and not that there's evil. Yes, there are things. You know what I'm saying. Like, and it, maybe some of you are out there and that's your thing, killing the darkness, but only because you understand your own darkness. Capricorn, oh my goodness. What are we? We're the devil, right? We're the goat, which really means we're the greatest of all time. That's right. All right. All right. Um, a vampire. Here's the thing, Capricorn, you've understand your own vampiric in nature. Well, I'm not a vampire. That's not what I'm talking about. Um, your own soul, your own darkness you've had to go through, your own anxiety, fear, um, and, and, and we'll say narcissism towards yourself and you've done to others, but, but obviously like Blade, 333 on the, on the clock over here, angels, right? Was the cure, has the cure. Sometimes it can, you know, and we all have that, that, that pool, right? That push and pull, which I love too. He's not, he's not an X-Men, but he is, you know, a superhero and he has superpowers. Um, who better to, to take on the vampiric narcissist of the world than someone who understands it really well, but knows that, nope, this isn't who I am. I truly know thyself now, right? And maybe, maybe you had a serum for it, right? We all have ways of coping. I don't even say coping, but, uh, we all have our own journey, right there, Capricorn. So don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of your own darkness because like a stake in the heart, you know, not like you know, you have exercised the demons. This house is Kalia in a good way. I just want to see the back of this card here. Some of you are orphans, or not an orphan, or you lost family member here recently, and I'm very sorry. Let's look at these, oh my goodness, power ratings. I don't think I've ever looked at this on these cards before. Agility is a three. I think it's at a five is what we're going with here. No, no, no. One to seven. Okay. 
So agility is a three, which I think it's a lot more than that. He has, then he have super speed or something. And again, these are 1990s cards, so he may have become so much more powerful since then. Fighting ability is a five. Clearly, it's blade. It's, you know, Wesley Science plus the martial arts on there. And, and think of that. That's the arts, right? In life, you have this great quality. And you may be physical fighter, but you also are not just a physical fighter, but what? Intelligent. You're intelligent. You use your intelligence. Oh, which is the next thing here too, which is a two, but no, 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 no. Yours is like a seven to a 10. And strength, they have two here as well, but mm -mm. what's true strength? They mean actual physical strength. Strength. That's, that's a seven and a 10 as well. Hi. Stamina, a four. You got stamina. You know what I'm talking about. Sexual stamina and stamina, stamina. You keep on keeping on, keep on, keep on pushing. And again, they have speed here as a two. So these power ratings, I don't think are accurate whatsoever for Blade or you. I wouldn't say sevens across the board. You know you better than I know you, but I know. And when you know like we know, you truly know yourself. And this is card 135. Breaks down to a nine. Nine is endings, but also getting into new beginnings. I won't say deaths. What's funny, it's death because Blade... He was born, and his mother was attacked by a vampire, right? And, uh, and isn't this crazy how we work this out? Um, so he was born a vampire, so he was never technically dead. He's the living, he's the living dead. He's a day walker, right? That's you. That's you. You got the magic powers. You are the light during the day and the night. People envy you. They envy what you can do, right? And they want to they harness it. They want to take it. They do. But that's why you're such a badass, you know, martial artist on there with it. What's our next card? Nice. Wow. We got some dark theme going in a good way. It's Venom. Okay. Now, Venom, star seed galactic being, is a symbiote. Technically a type of parasite, but, but calm down. We don't know much about those. But we, knew, we do know about, we can say symbiote, but it's not, I'm channeling this, by the way. It's not clearly that right energy right and, and venom was one of my personal favorites as a kid because he was buff he was big and his suit could just appear you know which i always thought was very cool i, I love the movie i think tom hardy's doing a wonderful job as you do 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 too do do too words but um sometimes that energy especially we can say that devil energy in us man uh, in everyone. And, and, and again, it's just an energy can take over it. But I feel this anger again with Blade to resolving past issues, right? And the thing is that, yeah, thank you. Yes, as I heard. And the star seed portion of it, your galactic beings, the angels, everyone, it, it, to me, it's a lot of it's all galactic. Um, ancient channelers, things like that. But like Venom, you are using this energy, it's funny that's even named Venom. Venom's like a poison, but also don't we have anti-Venom? I think that's a comic book character as well, right? Um, you, you are learning to use this energy and focus it in a hero. Remember, Venom is a hero. And Eddie Brock is a great writer, you know, who just tried to take... And, and when I say tried to take the fast track, right? It was all part of the plan. We needed... Who else... I mean, other people have harnessed the, the, gotten the symbiote as well, but he is the best, the best of them, right? Almost like it was planned. I love this energy. This is, this to me is really Capricorn energy right here. Um, driven, focused, dedicated. Man, we get a little, uh, we can say toxic. Oh, Pat. No, no, no. It doesn't mean a bad thing. Get a little naughty. Sometimes you got to embrace that a little bit, right? But again, the past um anxieties and and we're, we're i don't like saying healing but we're working on it we're ascending through it you know especially like vampiric nature all these other vampires are trying to get you around there and you're the best of the vampires you're gonna pop 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 you know kind of ascending into this symbiote which is like a galactic being helping that energy and anger and things like that and harnessing it to do good to do good Card number 77, uh, 14, 5. Change. Breaks down to a change.
Just saying if there's anything on the back of the card that I'm being drawn to, nothing really. Just that number five, change. This is, you know what's funny? This card is a piece of a puzzle, right? And that, and that what we're all doing? We're all, we're all just trying to put the piece of the puzzle together. I had a vision, oh man, maybe two or three years ago. Uh, and there was a, there was, there was like puppetry wires I saw out of my third eye. It's like um, scrying. It like projects up onto a the wall or something. And I'll look at it. And yeah, crazy superpowers, right? And it was like puppeteering, which I still don't know exactly. That I get a lot of different things from that. But the, the thing that, that gets me with this, it was a puzzle piece. It showed me puzzle pieces. And I always say like someone like David Icke, myself, uh, Elizabeth April, and I mean, all these people, all, all these different spiritualists, uh, uh, New Age, whatever name you want to give it. We all have the same piece of the puzzle, but different pieces of the puzzle, as you heard that other voice say it, you know, and we're all putting it together the best we can, you know, um, sometimes our ideals are different. Like I see with reptilian beings, leaving the alone. God made a reason for all of us, right? But Pat, they're out there. Yeah, just like the vampires. The amount of things I've seen and humans do, I know a lot of people want to say because of the reptilians. Are, I understand that for some reason. For some reason, that, like what? I don't just embrace it. What? I know there's something more to it. It just makes sense to me. It's it's interesting. Almost like comic books. Interesting. Thank you. Um, it's the human aspect I'm still figuring out. This is why I keep coming back here. Humans, man, we're weird. And I get excited by that, but we're also weird. If you guys watch that, I knew I was going to talk about this. The Harry Haft movie starring Ben Foster. Ben Foster is amazing. Also an X-Men, the original Angel, right? From X-Men 3, which, yeah, I still enjoyed it. Uh, we'll get the, the, the Dark Phoenix story correct one of these days. I know we will. But um, like as I watched that movie, what, what, what came over me, what they did is they forced Harry Haft, who was a professional boxer. He boxed against... Uh, Rocky Marciano, right? And got beat because Rocky Marciano is just, he's a beast, right? Thank you, coffee maker. Um, beast. But they forced Harry Haft to fight in, in a ring. And, and actually this other, this Nazi took him, played by Billy Magnuson, great actor, and taught him how to box. And they made the, the Jewish people fight each other in a ring and like kill each other. And, and what hits me, yeah, what hit me as I watched that was the sex. They raped Men and women, men, uh, guards and women, they had these parties and, I, and you get what I'm saying. I don't know why I see that. Also, I saw experimentation, much like X-Men movie with uh, first class with Magneto and things. And I see myself sometimes in these visions as the person, and I think I was there. I think I really did have a life there. I, I know for a fact I was in World War II or something like that. Um, but experiments were done, of course, we all know that from, from the Nazis, right? But psychic ability experiments, like like these things are things that, that hit me, hit me, hit me. So I have to stop watching the movie. Also, certain TV shows, which are comedies, I, I somehow pick up all their anxiety of like, I guess, actor. I'm just like, I got to stop. And it sucks because I really enjoy the and certain actors, too. Who I just love their work. But I pick up on all their insecurities and like who they truly are in life. And I'm like, fuck, I just can't. It, it hits me too hard. Uh, I just wanted you to know that Capricorn you're welcome but I this is I think this fits it's okay Capricorn simmer down simmer down we got some great things coming over here because the next card we have pulling right here Super Bowl Supermen not a coincidence Supermen women watching as well Super Women Supermen and not only that but we're in the big game man we're in the big game we're not just in uh, 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 you know this whole this whole thing is you can call it a game. I call it a scene or a play because I'm an actor. <clears throat> and as I once heard it, deep in channeling, please play the game and enjoy it. Some of you may want to have it as a competition. That's up to you. You know, all I know is when, when athletes play, yes, they're competing against the other team, but they don't hate them. You know, there may be animosity or something, but they don't hate them. Bruce Lee said it best. Emotional content. We are on point right now, y'all. Right? He didn't hate the other person. You don't hate your enemy. It's a fight. right? It's emotional content. Acting. I call it acting. Great acting is what? Real emotions. You know, that's why some people go into method acting and things, because it's it's real. You, you're really in that in that moment. It sucks to get out of it sometimes, but Bruce Lee, woo! Right? Emotional content. 
motion, emotions. And this is what we're doing. Thank you. We're in the, we're in the big game. And not only that, you're the coach. Look at this. That's the coach. That's the, uh, the Raiders, too, which is one of my favorite teams. They moved to, I think, Vegas. I'm not watching football as much anymore. And I know I used to do um, sports stuff, which I might do again. But remember, I'm just, I hear it and I do it sometimes, like an impulse. That's why we've been hearing that as well. But you're the coach, right? You're, think of it with Blade and Venom here. You're the power, Capricorn. You're the coach. It's funny because these are the Raiders as well. What are Raiders? They're pirates. Just It, it kind of keeps that theme of the Capricorn. We're not that. I know we're not. We're brilliant. We're great. That's what makes us so great, though. We can transmute, right, and work into this energy that other people aren't. Everyone can do it, but we're just fucking masters of it, right? We're ascended masters of it. Woo! We're the coach, and we can coach others. We can see... The, the play in the game from a whole nother level. Okay? That's who we are. Is there something on the back of this I want to see? Card number, it's number 25. Breaks down to a seven. Seven is very spiritual number. My coffee in there. A little cup of coffee, everybody. You got to enjoy Let's look it up. We're going to look up number seven. I'm hearing that. Okay. Number seven is connected to intuition, wisdom, growing self-awareness, spiritual revelations, and big shifts that can have a positive impact on your life. Yeah. Yeah. It's a number that serves as a bridge or a connection between our mortal realm and our higher places. I think this is this is not wrapping it up, but this is really putting it onto a wonderful, uh, uh, fun little package for us, y'all. Now, the next card I'm pulling here is Siren. Ooh. Now, Sirens, when we think, we think mermaids, right? And yes, there was a part where they would sing their songs and sailors would be mesmerized and go off into the water. Heck, we can say I'm a siren. You're listening to me talk right now. Siren is also what? Cyrus, Sirius, Syrian be beings, starseed, Syrian beings, the sound, right? Sound is very important. Now, this young lady is the daughter to the Banshee, okay? Now, Banshee is what? A wailing spirit from Ireland, right? It's usually a woman who wails, right? And it's supposed to be ooh, an ominous thing. Um, it's not. She's trying to say the thing she wanted to say while, while she was alive. I'm just using a female, but male, female, uh, while she was alive and, and didn't. Speak your mind. Say it. Even if later you, you might regret it. You learn from it. But you got it out of there. And you get better and better and better with it. Like a siren. Right? Professional speakers practice speaking. Right? I practice acting and speaking for 20-something years. That's why I can just turn this camera on and just go to town. Same thing with these cards. I just know how to do it for some reason. And I, like, it was this stuff I had to learn, hearing it, feeling it, knowing things that pop in my head. I'm like, what the fuck is that? I didn't think of that. So, but we're talking about your soup. Maybe that's your superpower too. But speaking it, she can also fly. Remember, um, if you saw the movie, first class, <clears throat> and he would, ah, you know, and it would make a sonic boom kind of a sound that would push him through and he could glide with it. Sound carries. If you want to know how uh, ancient pyramids, which are much older than we than we knew, not only that, but Stonehenge, how they carried all those uh, huge megalith, megalith, megalithic, megalithic, you know what I'm trying to say, uh, stones, sound. Sound can destroy, it can break, it can also vibrate, right? And something becomes so light that you can just push it along. Yes, they had carts and wheels and people as well, but they understood the sound. And you have enough monks and things sitting on something, spinning in unison, right? Sound bowls. We've all seen it with those glass, right? And it can shatter it. Capricorn, something about your sound. You're a great speaker. I'm a Capricorn as well. So this is awesome. We're talking about ourselves. Stop it, you. We're gorgeous. But I love the siren here. 
And this is an X-Men right over here. We finally got to the X-Men. And why I say X-Men, and it'll be in the title, um, X-Men to me are like, are, are the star seeds. They, they go through this mutation, which mutation just means change, right? Um, much during teenage years or something in a very uh, volatile time of their life uh, uh, that they ascend, right? Star seeds, that's what we do. For some reason, this guy, when I was 40, that's fine, thir late 30s, 40s, um, probably because it's the best time I could handle it. So it's good. Same with you. Divine timing. Everything happens for a reason. Know that everything that happens, whether, whether you see it as good, bad, this is an opportunity to expand, to ascend, to learn, heal, grow, uh, and become your best self. Right? And I'm sorry if something rough happened. I mean, it's not what we're trying to, trying to promote here. But it's much easier when you can acknowledge it, uh, honor honor your grief, right? Honor or honor any of the change and see it as the opportunity it really is to become a better version of yourself. Um, financially, spiritually, sexually, mm, super poweredly. That's, is that a word? I don't even know. Words. It's funny, in the back I'm pulled right here. Mutant power profile. Again, mutant just means changed. Card number 26. Six breaks down to an eight. We had seven, eight. It's like progression. We're, pro we're, we're progressing. It's like we this darkness, we transmuted it, right, with sound. So now we're lightweight, being able to fly. We're much lighter now. And that's, that's our mutant ability, our star seed mutant ability. Her real name is Theresa Rourke. Let's look up the name here. I'm going to look up Theresa. Let's pull this in a little bit here, Patrick. Sure, I talk to myself in third person. Oh my goodness, I've been hearing. I thought it was Teresa, but it's Theresa for a couple weeks now. I love when that works out. Theresa. Spiritual name meaning? Meaning. God's in everything. Remember that. You like to you like to control everyone within your influence, to shape things to your own liking. If positive, you develop high spirituality as you have a God as you have God's protection. You are sensitive, affectionate, imaginative, and cooperative, spiritually aware and prone to self-sacrifice. Who? Don't be prone to self-sacrifice. We have this weird thing in our in our in human beings, right? I think mine personally comes from a lifetime uh, as a Japanese samurai. We're dishonored, so I must. Ooh, no, don't sacrifice yourself, right? Jesus did not sacrifice himself. What? Yeah, he knew how to come back to life. He saw everything that was going to happen before it even happened. That's why he forgave Judas right away. He was like Judas. I forgive you, and he wasn't allowed, to, I, I think, to say, what's that? He just knew he couldn't because it, it had to happen, but Judas had the choice. But he was like, I forgive you, I forgive you, I love you, right? Because he knew what was going to happen with Judas as well as with himself. But he also knew how to come back to life and that he was going to come back to life. So is that a sacrifice? Interesting topic. Speak among yourselves, right? Let's also look up. Rourke. Is that an Irish name? Okay, let's go. R. Who's that actor, Rourke, who's also in... Uh, um, oh, my goodness. Guardians of, uh, of the Galaxy movies. Okay, Rourke. Baby name meanings. Origin and popularity. Okay. Rourke is a boy's name of Irish origin meaning. Yes. Uh, means illustrious and mighty. I love it. You're illustrious and mighty. What does illustrious mean, everybody? I'm going to look up. A, I don't know what it means. This is all part of psychic abilities, everybody. I hear lust. Illust. No. Illustrious. Trius. 
well-known, respected, and admired for past achievements. That's us because of all this transmutation. That's why we're so much lighter now. And as Capricorns, man, we are dedicated. We are focused. We, we are loyal to a fault sometimes, um, but extremely, extremely uh, dedicated and focused. That's why money is always a big thing for us, right? Like it's, yeah, beautiful. We're going to do, <laughs> what do you think? Cool, we're doing it. So this was the next card right here, right? This is, uh, I think, Hanna-Barbera, but it's a bear and a diaper, but it's also the Chicago Cubs. What's Cubs? A bear, a bear cub, something new. Um, also changing, right? That doesn't look like a cub. And I see the winning scheme, the thing that you're winning. All right, check this out, everybody. Thank you. Bear, spirit, animal. I love bears. I was in Alaska and they had this tiny little fence and it was a bear they fed and it was a big brown bear, man. Um, but it was a tiny little electric fence and I stood as close to this camera as I am to it. He could have, you know, reached out and swapped me. He just sat there looking at me and I looked at him and it was, it was beautiful. I don't recommend everyone do that. I don't recommend anyone do that. I, I mean, even, yeah, there's so much more going on here that I can talk about. What does this, the bear spirit animal represent? The bear spirit represents many things, but above all, the bear spirit is the chief of strength and protection. Bears are also well known for their prowess and healers. Bears are one of the few animals that use uh, medicinal herbs on themselves. Really? I didn't know that. I do know don't feed any bears because then they associate, associate people with food and that just doesn't go well for either uh, person or the bear. They use herbs on themselves. That's interesting. Also, hibernation is what I'm hearing too. Um, no one's ever, I don't believe anyone's ever not awake. Maybe you're in hibernation, but you're still alive, right? Uh, also, wouldn't we have to get into a, a, a hiber, a hiber, hibernation chamber or something to go off with our star selves unless we had hyperdrive. I want to pull one more card here for y'all and I'm here and split the deck. Perfect. Right here. And this is where we're going. Speak in our voice. Your, your guides, your, your, your star seed, your power too is the magic. You're the magician. Boom. You're going to the ball, right? The wedding, the ball, the, the, the celebration. And you are the Cinderella, but it ain't going to end. It ain't going to end. Um, it's not at midnight, no. And it's not about the glass slippers. It's you. And you're going to stay as the prince and the princess right in here. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Trusting it too, y'all. Notice how I just heard split the deck. All right? Because that's the way I read. Obviously, I'm reading comic book cards. So right here, one of our greatest superpowers, transmuting of our energies, not being afraid of it or ashamed of it as well. Even the symbiote of it. Using it to be heroes, be driven, help protect others. You know, uh, I remember one time there was this dude trying to trying to get into my sister-in-law's uh, uh, Jeep. And he was like, something was taking over him. Uh, yes, there are things like that. And immediately something came over me. And I went out there real quick, puffed up. And he just backed away. And it wasn't like, it was so funny because it wasn't like a tough guy thing. Because I was very nice about it, too. He was like, uh, you just shouldn't park on... And it wasn't even his yard, so I don't know the whole situation. It was a work thing uh, at, at a, a company. We ran it all together, so I, I don't know. There's more to it, but he was like... you know, And I've been there. I've done that, too. Um, I'm not trying to justify it, but, but also it was psychic channeling and seeing into people's insecurities and fears and all that and things they tried to do to me. So it was like I had to get through that, right? That's part of... That's you and me and this Capricorn right here, right? You get it, you get it. But uh, again, in that situation, I was, you know, he said, you, you, you turkeys. I was like, sir, we don't need to use that language. I was still very nice about it. Uh, it's funny because she's a Capricorn as well. All right, we'll leave it right there for you guys. Thank you for watching. Amazing superpowers, y'all.